They're done. Happy times. They go away. Where's your boy? Oh, we've been busy. Six months goes by. Oh, where's, where's Hayden? Oh, yeah, we'll bring him next time. Then one day he turns up. Oh, I think something's not quite right, son. And you have a look at Hayden. Sure. What happened? He hit puberty with his mouth open. You've been doing my exercises, Hayden? What exercises? They don't care. He's a strength. They're not looking in the back. You're not looking in the back. You're just looking for holes. You're not even looking for gum disease, right? That was the last time I did a parachute. Dude, you want to look like a dork for the rest of your life? Now we're interested. It's too late, isn't it? Missed the boat. His teeth are lining up. Every day? Well, some days I'm a bit busy. This is why Orthodox says, waste of time. It's actually a waste of time. And all you do is mechanics. It is a complete waste of time. Now he knows what dork means. It's like really late, isn't it? Been doing my exercises? What exercise? That's part of clinical life. You've been flossing? Yeah. Which tooth? You know how I get people to floss? Every day I want you to floss one tooth and only one tooth. If you like, you can pick a different tooth every day. When I see you in six months, you can look me in the eyes and say I floss every day. Now, whilst you're there, if you want to keep going around the rest of the mouth, by all means. Girls, listen. Especially when they're at this age. And you've been looking after our boys so well. Can you have a look at our girl? For sure. You going to do the exercises? Yeah. So we just put a lower stage one. Up at stage one. She did her exercises, did her thing. If you shut your mouth when you hit puberty and sleep through that time with your mouth shut, amazing things happen. If you hit puberty with your mouth open and hang it open until someone realizes, oh, I look like a dork, it's too late. Been through the walls, right? 
Did anyone notice she's class three? Apparently not. Let's fix it. You want to hit puberty perfect. You don't want to hit puberty and think, oh, I think we need something done. You will want to treat the little ones. That's fine. But the protocol that I do now is short burst, in and out. All right, I'm not aiming to fix everything all at once because I'm going to lose baby teeth. And I want another chance if they don't do my exercises. But the face drops. Anything, anything that you do increases vertical. It's up to them to counteract that force. So we needed to do something, yeah? How are the permanent sizes going to fit if the baby teeth are crowded? Impossible. So made some widening, made some tongue space, level aligned the lower arch. We're not expanding the mandible. We are level and aligning the lower arch. But you can keep going. It's amazing. Little kids, just keep going. And the teeth go like this and then like that. You can do that. Doing my exercises, what exercises? Just let it grow. Please do my exercises. She's just growing now, She's doing her own thing. This is what John Mew said. If you don't can't fit a crown between each two, it's at five or four, expand and then get, get out of the way and let the kid grow. 11. Up a divergence, that's why I stepped in early. But she controlled it herself. All right? Uh, people ski, green run, blue run, black run, double black diamond. When the mandible is like a double black diamond, that's a really hard case, just like skiing. All right? You want everyone to grow like a green run. Nice, gentle, flat growth. We should be seeing this every day, everything coming through just as God intended. She controlled her own hyperdiverse. You been doing my exercises? Yep, she said. This is normal. Where everything moves in like a picket fence. That's normal.
And she comes at 14 and says, oh, my teeth straight. Like, could any of you do that? Straighten it for her? Sure, you think. Do you need to be a specialist? No. Seven minutes behind. All right, that's it. Okay, so <clears throat> that ends expansion GOPEX examples. One second.